everyone, welcome back to Katarina's Garage. My name is Katarina Loy, and as you can see, I am sitting beside Stitch here. This is my 81 Mustang. Um, you know, for once I get the driveway because my dad's out hunting, so it's kind of nice to be able to park my car in the driveway where it belongs. <laughs> but anyways, um, this video is actually going to be a couple of things. One, it's a little bit of an update on the car. Um, there's currently a uh, YouTube short that you'll see before this. This, this will come out probably uh, tomorrow, most likely. Uh, maybe even later tonight, but still, regardless. You'll see the YouTube short probably before this one, if you are subscribed to my channel and you see it. Because um, I pulled the spark plugs out and didn't really see much of an issue with them at all. They're not fouled, they're probably fine. So, but what I did notice though, which this could cause some of the issues that I was having, and I've had issues with it in the past actually, is Cylinder 5 has always given me issues. Um, like, because okay, Cylinder 5 had, honestly the spark plug was so loose in there that I didn't actually need a wrench to probably take it out to be honest. I still had it because you know I just went, eh, and, oh okay that was really really loose. So that may have been causing a lot of the miss, but still, um, I still have that double roller timing chain coming in and plus also Something else I did is under the hood here, um, well, let me show you. Because I got it yesterday, now it's dirty. I should just remove it, clean it, and put it back in, but it's fine. Um, because down there, you might see a yellow coil. That is a Super SL, um, Super Coil, uh, like Super Stock Coil, which they are an incredible coil. People have been using them for years. You know what? I have no gripes with it so far. I've actually found a performance difference with that compared to the stock coil by quite a big margin actually so now the next big thing that i want to try out and i bought some the other day you can probably see it sitting there is octane booster now this you know it's stp octane booster all you gotta do very simple um is okay you open it up Actually, let's bring the camera around to where to do this. And it's as simple as this. Now, and this will treat up to uh, 68 liters of fuel, this this one in particular. Um, and I want to see how well it is because, you know what? There have been... People used to swear by Octane Booster back in the day. So uh, let's move this back a little bit, actually. There we go. And tilt it up just a tad. There we go. Um, yeah, so people used to swear by Octane Booster back in the day of, you know, for performance. So, you know what? I'm going to try this and see what it does to my motor. Because, you know what? I'm always looking for performance gains with the car. And why not? You know, this is kind of a cool little thing of does it work? And because like before, so what I'm trying to do, and I have a little app that'll show it to me, and I'll I'll record that on here. Um, because I have this cool app called Drag Racer. It's on Android. And you know, I've had no gripes with it, just uses GPS. Seems fairly accurate to be honest. Um, so I'm gonna try that. And the times that I'm going to try and beat is 15 flat, 0 to 60, and, um, it's 15 flat, and then 19.9 in the quarter mile is what I'm trying to beat. So, with that in mind, let's put this in, and see what it does, and then also I'll go a little bit over it as well, once it starts before. So, what you're going to want to do with this though, so that it does mix properly, is, because like I said, it, it treats up to 68 liters. So an easy way to make this work is, you know, have your tank, my, my tank is about uh, uh, a little over halfway full at the moment. So fill up your gas actually, and then it helps it cycle a lot easier throughout the entire system, and then run it for a while, drive it to get it all mixed in, and then do your tests. So when it's nice and warm and everything too. Um, yeah, just like that, it is all out. So that was pretty simple. Um, yeah, now we just gotta warm up the car and we'll get to it, which uh, this video is gonna be a little different because 
you're not gonna actually see me do it you're just gonna see the times um, in live time and you'll see my natural reaction to it so yeah let me just pause this video and we'll do that ah, okay so I am back um, actually so you can see the app is now open and everything but I do want to show you my baseline first I've driven the car for quite a bit now um, so these are the times I'm trying to beat so you see the 0 to 60 in 15 seconds right right at there um, and then quarter mile in 19.9 right that's what I'm trying to beat right now um, and with the oh crap whoops and with the uh, the octane boost and actually let's straighten this out a little bit on the road there we go um, so this is ma manually shifting the car as a truck drives by me. Um, let's just give a little bit of distance. And, okay. Three, two, one. It hesitated. Was it shifting at 3,800 RPM as well? I just get immediately off the brake onto the gas. So let's try this. See, it did hesitate again. That's so weird. But again, 3,800 uh, RPM. Our shift.
attempt here. Let's try this. Oh, it just died. There we go. That was weird why I just bogged and died there, but... So here we are um, after all the testing, and what do I think of the Octane Boost? Actually, I think it, it does work. It works really well. It's just my car's not running quite right, but you saw on that last run that, you know, it did a 14, what was it, 14.5, 0 to 60, and it was like a 19.8, if I remember correctly, quarter. So it did help in both categories, actually, which is fantastic. Honestly well worth it um now do i think it's worth the money yes but only if you are going out to like the drag strip and doing it that way because if you're getting this uh octane boost and then deciding hey i'm just gonna drive around town and stuff like that not worth the money at all at that point i wouldn't waste my money on that it wasn't that expensive it was only about i think it was 21 or 22 dollars um, not bad, and, you know, it, it treats up to 68 liters, honestly, very good. Um, it worked well, and so I am quite pleased with that result, actually, because I wasn't too sure how that was going to work out, but I am definitely pleased with the result, 100%. So, uh, yeah, that's very similar to the jump that I had, actually, uh, when I put the new coil on the car, so that goes to show you what that can do, actually. That was quite cool. I mean, and finally... You know, um, once this car also has, like, I'll do this test again when the car is actually running right, and then we'll see how much bigger of a jump it'll get when it's not bogging and stuff like that, too, because it did bog a little and, um, wasn't quite up to snuff 100% on that run. That's why that one, that second run was just, you know, a throwaway run, essentially, right? So, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, you know, please like the video, comment anything you want to see down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, as well, if you want to contact me, you can at Kettering's.Garage on Instagram or Kettering's Garage on Facebook. And yeah, anyways, um, I'll catch you all later. Bye!